Hi everyone, Ron here. Welcome back to Mad Geek's YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more sneaker review. Today, we'll do some unboxing. Uh, my order from Titan just arrived and it's the LeBron 7 Media Day. This will be my first time to see and hold the actual sneakers. So later, I'll give an in-depth review of the shoe. As we open the box, you'll see the inside design of the Titan box and inside is the sneaker box of the LeBron 7 Media Day. So let's pull out the box and take a look at the sneaker. I'll just put the Titan box aside. And here's the LeBron 7 box. As you can see, it's a pull-out box. You can see here a regular paper wrapping. And here's the right pair. It's a purple colored sneaker. And then here's the left pair, which is a yellow colored one. So as you can see, it's a nice looking sneaker. So let's dive in and take an in-depth look of the LeBron 7 Media Day. Here we are today with the LeBron 7 Media Day. So of course, before we dive into the shoe, let me show you guys the box. As you can see, it's a classic LeBron 7 box. We got LeBron 7 Quick Strike on the price tag. It is this kind of pull-out box and the LeBron signature on the top of the corner. As well as some graphics on the top, typical of the LeBron boxes that we see. And now, on to the lateral side of the right shoe. This is the primarily purple sneaker. And on the bottom here, starting down with the air bubble and the outsole, as you can see, the yellow speckles on the air bubble, the yellow on the outsoles as well, we got the white midsole, and a little bit of white leather on the side and the toe box. Moving up, we got some purple, we got this fly wire, we got a yellow outline on the white swoosh, more purple going up, and on the back, we got that L23 logo with the crown and yellow laces on the sneaker. Now, we move on to the lateral side of the left foot. Starting again from the bottom, this one is kind of just the opposite of the other sneaker. Now, we got the purple speckles on the midsole. We got the yellow airbag inside the shoe, purple on the outsole. The white again on the side and on the toe box and then yellow on the upper. Purple outlined white swoosh, we got the fly wire again, purple laces, and purple on the top, and a little L23 and crown logo at the back. Now onto the medial side of the primarily yellow shoe. To turn this around, start with the bottom again, we got more of that purple speckles, we got that white midsole once again, the rest of the white leather on the side, continuing on the top of the toe box. We got yellow all around across the sneakers. Then you got that purple L23, a nice white swoosh, the fly wire, the purple laces again. So that's the both sides of the yellow sneaker. So moving to the middle side of the purple sneaker, we got yellow on the outsole, yellow speckled midsole, white again going up to the purple. We got that white swoosh. So more fly wire, the yellow L23 in the crown, yellow laces, putting it down so you can see and take 
a better look. Next, I'll put them side to side to give you guys a quick look so you can see the difference. Here's the medial side and here's the lateral side. Now moving to the front, we start at the toe box. We got 20 and 3 written in white with alternating background color. We got purple and yellow, the white on the toe box. On the purple, we got Lebron written on the yellow laces. All the way up to the purple tongue, you see a Lebron sneaker in yellow and yellow on top of the tongue. And the other sneaker, we got purple on the top, yellow tongue, purple laces, then James written here. On to the back of the shoes now, we got yellow and purple again. The only real difference here is on the back. We got the scripted L and the scripted J for LeBron James. You can see the different speckles. Comparing the two shoes here, you got the yellow and purple on the back heel. Moving over ahead now, we take a look at the top of the shoes. We start out with the laces. We have the yellow on the right shoe with the purple aglets. And on the purple laces on the left with the yellow aglets. Moving inside, we got the yellow insoles with the purple logo. And a purple insole and a yellow logo on the other side of the shoe. Now we check on the outsoles. Here we can see it's kind of mismatched. We have a yellow transitioning to purple and then purple transitioning to yellow. Same traction on both sides. Then we got this very cool piece in the middle. It's a hologram with the LeBron James and Nike logo. And finally, we're done taking an up close look of both sneakers of the LeBron 7 Media Day. Now it's time to get them lace up and show you guys how they look on feet. That is my unboxing and review of the LeBron 7 Media Day. Again, thank you for watching my review and please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well. That's it. Goodbye for now and see you in my next unboxing and sneaker review.